Hello everybody, Grandpa Dan here. I got the second of the two Model T engines disassembled enough so that I could get the block uh, cleaned out in my solvent tank uh, inside and out. And then I uh, took a day and cleaned off the outside good with a wire brush and a wire wheel and my electric drill. And... Um, I do not yet have all the valves out. There's still three valves in it yet. And I don't have the camshaft. There you can see the end of the camshaft sticking out there in the front. Um, and I don't have the lifters out yet. Uh, those are still pretty, pretty stuck, pretty rusted stuck. So what I'm going to do is I, um, I'm going to, Kind of put this put this block off to the side, and about once a week, I'm gonna keep putting uh, rust buster stuff on uh, the tops and bottoms of all the lifters and uh, those three valves and the camshaft and and um, here early this winter uh, when the snow starts flying, uh, then I'll pull both of these engines out and. Uh, We'll start. Uh, we'll start seeing if we can uh, get a running engine out of one of those two. Uh, I did pick up a set of uh, Model T pistons uh, and rings, and I need to find um, a commutator, a timer, and a couple other things. But uh, once I found those, uh, I've I've got most everything I need to. Uh, See if I can clean the cylinders up enough and get the valve seats cleaned up enough. Uh, and oh yeah, I did pick up a new set of valves. I got a set of brand new valves. Uh, so if I can get the valve seats cleaned up enough, uh, uh, I've got some new valves to put in it. And, and then we'll see if we can uh, make this thing fart and burp and make a little noise. Uh, but in any event... Uh, when I put these projects off to the side and I stick them up on one of my shelves, uh, I like to have them cleaned up and at least a coat of paint on uh, most of the stuff so that it's not such a mess uh, sitting there. That way, it, uh, uh, when I look over there, uh, uh, it at least looks half, de looks half decent. <laughs> But I still have a lot of work to do on this block yet as well. I haven't done anything with the cylinders yet. And um, although the cylinders in this block, I think, are going to clean up pretty good. They're not nearly as bad as that first block. So this will probably be the first engine that I work on. Um, so we'll see. Time will tell. But in any event, there you go. So I just uh, wanted to give you an update on this. Uh, I'm kind of anxious to get back to finish putting together that three-generation Model A engine. Um, I picked up some more parts for that, so I'm kind of ready to go on that now. And and um, so this, along with the other uh, T parts that uh, I took apart from these two engines, uh, other than the pans, those I'll kind of put out in one of my storage sheds, but they're just kind of big and bulky, but... The rest of the stuff I'll stick up in the shelves uh, on the storage side of my shop here. And we'll pull those out this winter once the snow starts flying. So so there you go. There you go. It says Ford Made in USA. Haha, <laughs> love it. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. More fun to come on this. But this will probably be the last video on the Model T Madness for... Uh, Oh, oh, probably a month or two, and uh, and then uh, once it's uh, kind of cold and yucky and snowy to be doing things outside, I'll pull these out, and we'll start playing with them some more. So there you go. Well, have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for watching.